Hey everyone, so this is a quick demonstration of the Wayland display server. Um, just running on some hardware, just to give you an idea of what it looks like outside of um, a lot of the screenshots, because there aren't any videos of how it works. So we're just going to run the compositor here. Um, what this is, is um, I've tapped into this computer here, which is running, um, which is an EPC, um, which has an Intel integrated graphics card, and I've got the Wayland stack running on there. So, um, we'll just type in the, um, the commands necessary to do this. So, here we can specify a background image that will be used on the server when we actually launch it. Alright, so it's launched. There it is. Um, this is Wayland. Um, as you can see, it's not particularly interesting. We have, um, like an oversized mouse cursor and a background image of just the Compiz logo and the default Maverick, um, default Maverick warp wallpaper here. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll launch some clients. So in order to do this, we have to go back to the terminal that we were using. Um, and then we have to launch each client individually. So for example, the first thing that we might want to start is um, a terminal. So launch that. Alright, there it is, it's launched, and there it is on the display server. Um, it's just like a normal window, you can move it around. Um, the only thing I've noticed with the DRM version of um, Willand is that it's a bit slow at the moment, but hopefully this will fix itself up soon. Um, so we'll close that, and we'll have a look at some of the more interesting clients. Um, this one here is a demo which makes a flower go around on screen. So as you can see, it's right there, and there's just a flower jumping around on screen. Um, the flower is also um, transparent, so you can sort of see through it there. Um, another interesting one is this drag and drop demo. So there it is. Um, yep, and basically you can grab things on this demo and drag and drop them. Keep in mind this is a fairly early display server, so the fact that it can do most of this stuff is pretty phenomenal. All right, so we'll exit that, and yeah, I'll just um, kill the server. So. Right, and now it's dead. And as you can see, we're back in a TTY. Um, straight back in the shell that I've tapped into. And yeah, you can go straight to X from there because it all uses kernel mode setting. All right, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching.